Today I spoke with the leader of the group Rise, which helps support the families of gun violence victims in Seattle. She said there are dozens of kids, predominantly in the black community, who have lost their fathers to gun violence. Now she's hoping that the city can come together this holiday season to support them. That was my dad. That's me. Chloe has a lot of memories with her dad, Devon Pickett Jr., someone she said always celebrated her and her siblings. I was blowing out my candles and my dad was helping me because I was scared of it. But this holiday season, she won't have her dad. Devon Pickett Jr. was shot and killed outside his business, The Postman, on October 19th. He is remembered by the Central District as a community leader and by Chloe as a loving dad. And I felt bad for my youngest brother. He doesn't have that many years. Not as many years as she had with her dad. Lives cut short by gun violence. Last year in Seattle, there were 29 deadly shootings and 118 shootings with injuries. This year, those numbers increased to 36 deadly shootings and 118. 140 shootings with injuries. But we know that in King County, black men and boys are disproportionately impacted. Those victims leave behind significant others and children, which is why Lanaya Grayson created the group Rise to help the families of people impacted by gun violence. We're like a survivor led organization that's really caring for and supporting this underserved and underrepresented community. She says holidays are hard for these families, so they made the holiday hope drive to help supply gifts to the kids. We have 70 children who have lost a parent to gun violence, 70. And although Chloe is one of those 70, she wants to help other kids who lost their dads feel supported too. So it's like fair, then they feel high. Not the sad part, but like happy. Chloe's father's store, The Postman, is now back open in Seattle Central District. It is a drop off location for these gifts, which you can donate until December 16th. They are taking monetary donations as well. If you want to help, you can text the word hope to the number 206 448 4545. Report in Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.